The System Advisor Model, or SAM, was developed by the National Renewable Energy Laboratory to quickly and easily model the performance of a variety of renewable energy technologies, from geothermal to wind to biomass to solar. Because this class focuses on photovoltaics, we will limit ourselves to discussions about how SAM models PV systems. SAM allows you to enter a batch of information about your photovoltaic system and it will model the performance of that array for every hour in a typical year. It will then use that information and the financial information you've provided to run some economic analysis. Once the model has finished, you can use SAM to create charts, graphs, or tables of expected performance both electrically and financially. This short video will introduce you to how to start up a project in SAM and the layout of the tabs in SAM. The software is fairly straightforward and you should have no problems navigating. You can always visit the SAM website for documentation, support forums, and recordings of past SAM webinars. By now, you should have gone to sam.nrel.gov and downloaded your free copy of SAM. Open the program. The first screen shows a place to begin a new project, some links to opening a variety of sample SAM files, and online forums for help. We'll move directly to starting a new project. You can change the name of your project or simply click Create a New File. This will present you with a new menu that lists all the technologies covered by SAM. We'll click Photovoltaics. We're presented with three options, flat plate PV, high X concentrating PV, and the PV Watt system model. For now, we'll click on PV Watt's model as it is the simplest. Next, we need to select what financing options we'll be working with. Since we haven't worked with financing yet, and it doesn't affect what we'll be doing here, we'll select Commercial and click OK. This is Sam's main screen. Each project will start with one case, accessible at the top underneath the file menu. You can create different cases of the same project using the case section of the file menu. Each case will be listed here, similar to the tabs in a browser. You can use this functionality to quickly and easily compare different variables in the same project. Beneath the case tabs is a button that will allow you to modify the selections you made just a moment ago for that project. Underneath that is a series of information entry sections for all of the details of a photovoltaic array. Some general information, where the system is located, what modules you're using, what the electrical loads of your client are, etc. All of these sections come with default values, so when we reach the very bottom of the screen, we can go ahead and click the green arrow which is Run All Simulations. A bar at the top will show the progress of the simulations, and when it's complete, a summary of the results will appear in the bottom left. On the right, you're given a tool for modifying charts and graphs of the results. If you click off of this, you can return to this graph viewer at any time by clicking the bar graph icon at the bottom of the screen. The other two icons, the gear and the slider, are places that allow you to modify the parameters of the simulation and the results.